What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, what type of bizarro Twilight Zone, the sports movie bullshit is this, man? Um, am I like a unknowing like cast member, and I'm being like get like 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 I'm being gagged or something? Like, I'm I'm trying to understand what the fuck is going on because. I saw a segment for ESPN where they're talking about this dunk being the dunk of the year. You talk about living in the fucking millisecond. I can't, well, you know what? I can't even say moment because this dunk happened, what, four days ago? And they're still milking the fuck out of this dunk. Look, it was an okay dunk, man. I'm not going to sit there and say that, it, you know, that it wasn't okay. But look who he dunked on. Kevin Love? Like, my, I, I'm just. <clears throat> so he dunked on a 53-year-old Kevin Love, who in his prime was never noted for being an interior defender anyway. Kevin Love wanted no parts of challenging that shit. And this is dunk of the year? So, let me ask you a question. Because <clears throat> this dunk is being replayed on social media and, you know, it's being talked about still on the mainstream sports media shows and uh, it's everywhere, right? This overrated ass dunk. But you noticed one dunk this year got completely just shoved under the carpet. Like, everybody act like they didn't see it. And it just goes to show you that everybody fucking hate Russell Westbrook and there's a cult of personality around LeBron James. You're trying to tell me <clears throat> a LeBron dunk, a guy that's 6'8", 270 pounds, right? 265, 270, whatever the fuck he is. Dunking on 69-year-old Kevin Love is more impressive then 6'3", Russell Westbrook, as many layups as he's missed and shots he's blocked, uh, got blocked, excuse me, and as bad as he played, that dunk he had on three-time Defensive Player of the Year winner Rudy Gobert is not more impressive. He actually crammed it on a shot blocker. You know, it's funny, the last time LeBron tried to dunk on Cleveland, when they had their rim protector, Jared Allen, that shit got swatted. And it's also funny that the very night before everybody kept playing this dunk, the softest tissue-let seven-foot-three man to play in the history of the NBA, Chris Das Porzingis, jammed it on LeBron James, which, by the way, I believe played into his decision not to fucking play against Joel and B. But it is what it is. Dunk of the year, my ass. It's sickening. 